Hi guys, welcome to our three day long weekend, sorry no, four day, three night long weekend at the uh, Lizard Point Holiday Park. It's a park theme resort. So we're in our room obviously and uh, after some confusion with check-in, we got the keys. Ash back. Uh, oh wow, busy. On my email it just said to go straight to your place, which is there, C50. So, here's number 50. Apparently the keys are waiting for us. I see no keys. Just try the door. Right, we have our room keys now. We've just got in the room. For some reason, our room didn't have the sticker on the, uh, on the glass just outside here. There should be a green sticker telling you when you first arrive that you can enter and then you can just go straight in and you should have your keys and a welcome pack waiting for you on the table but ours was completely locked up so we just went to reception uh, they gave us the keys and they gave us a welcome pack End of flashback and I'm now going to give you guys a bit of a tour of the uh, bungalow okay so this is the outside of our Cedar Crescent bungalow number 50 go in and uh, straight into a nice open plan area two sofas this is actually a uh, two bedroom bungalow so we've got a double and a twin room over there on the left so you've got a good size four seater dining table here a nice fireplace directly below a tv which um doesn't sound or seem very clever to me it's kicking out a lot of heat and going straight onto that tv but not my tv so yeah, two uh, two two-seater sofas, nested tables there. If you need to get them out, got a good-sized coffee table. Oh, I should say as well that this is a smart TV. The remote control had no batteries in it when we came here. So this is a smart TV, but there's no Wi-Fi on the TV, so none of the apps work which I was a bit upset about. I like to uh, see a YouTube button on the TV remote. So here's the little kitchen. Tiny bin in there. That's the only bin I've found. Got a good sized fridge, which we've stocked up with uh, a few alcoholic beverages. A freezer, pretty good sized freezer for a long weekend. Nice microwave. Quite small actually. Uh, cutlery, so you do get a good selection of plates, cups, couple of glasses, no bowls, unless they're in this side. No, no bowls, but more glasses, some good plastic cups if you've got kids, or if uh, you're a bit of an immature adult like myself and you end up breaking things. Kettle, sink, no washing up stuff, so make sure you bring that. And then you've got a uh, pretty standard cooker, four rings on the top and an oven. And a toaster. Below that you've got some cutlery, which we'll definitely be washing up before we use. So yeah, this is the main room once again. Quite impressed with it. Going into this first door on the left, you've got your twin bedroom. So two single beds, which uh, would probably be for most people that come here the kids room nice little chest of drawers and then behind you you've got more storage for uh, hanging clothes and another chest of drawers and a nice radiator pretty good room and then back out this one's a sliding door into the main room so this is a double, which we're very happy with. It's, uh, it's a good size room. You've got your storage again on the left here. There's my suitcase, there's Becca's. And yeah, there's the bed. There was no TV in the, uh, in the twin room, but in this room, there is a TV. And you also have a door, which leads you out onto a small patio area. Well, you've also got a small table and chairs.
You've also got a chest of drawers each next to your bed and a very good sign, plug sockets. Worst thing ever when you go to a hotel and there's no plug sockets. So on the left as we exit our room you've got the bathroom which is very nice, very modern, I like the tiles, really cool, really nice bathroom. Cool sink, toilet obviously, and then you've got your shower. Twelve seconds later. So that's the tour of our cedar bungalow. The only thing I'm not very impressed with so far is the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is absolutely rubbish. You get a welcome pack when you check in with all this kind of stuff. You get a park map, entertainment passes, a bit of a menu for a takeaway, fish and chippery. I'm sure we'll be having that at some point. And some Wi-Fi information. However, on my phone, I still have no signal. Ah, where is it? No signal at all. I've connected to the Wi-Fi. I had to stand over in this corner. Eventually managed to connect. But this card, which explains about the Wi-Fi, basically says to either email them or call if you have any problems connecting to the Wi-Fi. Well, how can I do that? I've got no signal. <laughs> so, but yeah, we're on. Um, that's the only downside, really, so far as the Wi-Fi. So the plan now, we are going to have a quick drink here. We've got a can of Rattler each. And then we're gonna go and have a bit of a look around, probably check out the arcade, get some food, and then start planning what we're gonna do. I know tomorrow we've got the High Ropes course booked for three. Uh, you can do mini golf here, you can do loads of stuff. We may go into Mullion, see what that's like. And then I know on Sunday, we're gonna go to the Lizard Point and Kynance Cove, so. Yeah, we've got quite a lot planned. Should be a nice, good long weekend. Later. So when you go to the uh, Park Team restaurants, just make sure you've got the app downloaded. If you look on the bottom left of the screen, uh, you'll see some rough videos of what the app's like. Just make sure you've got that downloaded. Uh, you'll have a table number and you literally just choose what you want from the app and uh, pay for it on the phone. And there you go, it gets delivered to your table. How am I supposed to eat here? <laughs> so that's the entrance to the restaurant as you uh, come into the main entertainment place. And this is the arcade. This is a little VR game which I'm definitely going to be going on shortly. Three quid. Are you going to have a go on this, Becca? No way. Roller coasters. All sorts of cool games. Looks well good. That would have been better if my VR headset actually faced the right way. Obviously needed a bit of reconfiguring. Uh, I went backwards the whole way around. <laughs> I'm not going to go on this one, but here's another VR motorbike one you can go on. Becca, <laughs> round here they've got Sporky. <laughs> Sporky. Oh, let's get sporky. Yes. Right, enough to try some tactics. Oh, oh, you took him up. Six and a half hours later. Waste of my money, give me the camera. Right, so I'm a massive Mandalorian fan. And I've just seen these baby Grogu's. So I've had to go and change up some money because one of these is coming back with me. I'm gonna have to use the force to win one of these, I think. <laughs> and hopefully tip it. Oh no. Wow, that was a fail, wasn't it? Oh my God. Wow. That's got to be the winning one. No, God, please, no, no, no. 
Right, that's enough of that. Look what we've found, guys. The Ben and Jerry's ice cream vending machine. Chocolate brownie one, eh? I'm not actually hungry now. I can barely move still, but maybe another night. A Pringles vending machine. Oh, out of use. And an empty vending machine, so that one's definitely out of use. So here's the outdoor swimming pool. Far too cold for that this weekend, I think. Unless I get a few gin and tonics down me. Got a really cool outdoor seating area there. Looks like you can probably have a drink and watch some football. There's the high ropes course, and here is a park. And there's Rebecca. Hi, Be Hi Becca. Hi. Still got your mask on, we're outdoors. I know. It's oh, really it's warm. Oh, okay. Fair one. All right, let's go and have a look at this high ropes course because we've got that tomorrow at three o'clock. Crazy golf. Pirates crazy golf. Looks like a fun course, so we could end up doing this tomorrow, actually. Could take a while. If you guys watched our Hollywell Bay crazy golf, you see we're pretty crap. Cool. So we've got this tomorrow at 3 p.m. Looks wicked. I've got my GoPro, which I'm going to be wearing to uh, take you guys around. Right, we're just on our way back to our bungalow now. Spent far too much money trying to get a little uh, Grogu from the Mandalorian. The claws just don't grip it hard enough, do they? I'm going to have to have another go tomorrow night. I will get one before we leave here. So we're back in our bungalow now, um, in the actual entertainment centre where the pub is and stuff, where you can drink and watch entertainment and they have bingo. Me and Becca love bingo. We went actually last week and I won twice. Becca usually wins but she didn't win this week, but I won twice. Apparently you can win up to like a thousand pounds. Somebody won five and a half grand at this bingo place, which would be a nice bonus when you're on holiday. Yeah, we're gonna save that for tomorrow night and then spend tomorrow evening in there having a few drinks and stuff and uh, checking out the entertainment. So for now, we're just gonna chill out here the rest of the evening. In the entertainment bit as well, where the uh, club and the arcade is and stuff, just so you know, the Wi-Fi worked perfect. I had full signal and it worked really well. I think the most you get here is 10 megabytes a second and that's completely free. So all you have to do is go to your Wi-Fi, look for PDR Wi-Fi, I think it is. Um, the instructions are in your welcome pack anyway. And then once you click that and you connect, it will take you to a website where you just put in your name and your email address and uh, away you go. Yeah. Right guys, so we're going to go off to bed now. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you click the subscribe button if you want to see what we get up to for the rest of the weekend. Uh, hit the notification bell so you get notified then when the new videos come out. Drop us a comment if you like, give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one which for us is tomorrow and for you guys will be in a few days time so uh, see you soon.